Hi, first grade, it's Mrs. Fennessy. I hope you're having a great day so far. Today is Monday, May 11th, 2020, and I'm going to be doing your science lesson today. Now, look at my screen behind me. What do you think you might be learning about? Now, I know you already learned about the ocean. So what other science lesson might you be learning today? Did you say bodies of water? If you did, you're correct. Now think of a few. I have lakes, oceans, rivers, and ponds. Which one of these is made of salt water? Did you say ocean? Good job, first grade. An ocean is a large body of salt water that fills the Earth's basins. On the next screen, I have some fun facts for you. The Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean in the world. About 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by oceans. Scientists say that we have only explored about 5% of the ocean. How much does that leave that we did not explore? If there's 100% and five of it was explored, Yes, you guessed right, 95% of the ocean has not been explored. Maybe someday that can be your job. The next few we're gonna talk about are mainly freshwater. They are rivers, lakes, and ponds. First, we'll learn about a river. A river is a long flowing natural stream of water. It usually ends in a bigger body of water, like an ocean or a lake. I have some fun facts for you also about rivers. The largest river in the United States is, did you say Mississippi? If you did, like me, you were incorrect, but that's okay, now you'll know. It is the Missouri River. It stretches 2,340 miles in length. Do you know what the largest river in the world is? It's the Nile River. It is 4,160 miles in length. Small rivers are sometimes called a brook, a stream, or a creek. Please look at this picture of a lake. Doesn't that look peaceful? When I saw this picture, I thought, oh, I would love to go on a kayak ride. So peaceful. A lake is a large body of water surrounded by land. I merged some social studies into your science today. So you're going to get some lake fun facts. Maybe someday you'll win a trivia contest or you'll be on Jeopardy and you can name all of these. Most lakes are made by nature, but some of them are man-made. On the border of the United States and Canada are five lakes. If you look at the picture down here, here's Canada, down here's the United States, in the middle right here, this broken line is the border. The lakes are Lake Huron, Lake Ontario, Lake Michigan, Lake Erie, and Lake Superior. Lake Superior is the largest of all of the Great Lakes. If you ever have an opportunity to travel to any of these lakes, I will tell you, I have been to Lake Erie and Lake Michigan. Both are absolutely beautiful. The last body of water we're going to talk about today is a pond. And a pond is a small body of water surrounded by land. Now, I didn't make a fun fact slide for, for you today because I want you to share with somebody you're learning with today three things you already know about ponds. All right, did you share? Next, I have your job for today. Now, you have two options. This one will be option number one, and the next one will be option two. Either one you can do. You're going to make a bodies of water four square, just like the one I have in the picture. Hamburger fold it, hot dog fold it, Write bodies of water in the middle. Write the four bodies of water you, you learned about today. Ocean, lake, river, and pond. Now, 
you can draw a picture in each section or you can write a fun fact about the body of water, your choice. Or maybe you can do two of each. Maybe you could draw a picture of a pond and a lake and write a fun fact about an ocean and a river. You decide first grade, you're in charge of your learning today. All right, here's your next job opportunity. You can make an ocean in a bottle. You will need the following materials. An empty bottle with a lid, water, blue food coloring, canola, vegetable, or baby oil. All right, make sure you have your parents' permission before you do this. Here are the directions. In your clean bottle, you will pour water and fill it about three quarters of the way full. You'll add food coloring to that water, blue food coloring, probably five or 10 drops, you decide. Put the lid back on, shake it up. Make sure that lid is on tight or it'll make a mess. Shake it up. I would say maybe shake it over the sink. Then you're going to fill the remainder of the bottle with oil. You're going to add in seashells, plastic fish, glitter, sand, whatever you might be able to find at your house. If you don't have any of those things, don't worry. You can still do it with just the water and the oil. Now, make sure the lid is secure. I would ask a parent to hot glue it, super glue it, or maybe even duct tape it because you do not want oil and water everywhere in your house. Then you can shake it and it will make a ocean in a bottle. This also will serve as a calm down bottle for you. I'm going to show you mine. Okay, first grade, I have mine ready for you. And I had vegetable oil. I didn't have any baby oil at my house. I did have blue food coloring. I have a little bit of glitter in here. And if you take a close look, I have a critter in mine. What do you think that critter might be? Anybody that listened to the habitat lesson will know. Yep, it's a shark and he's in my ocean in a bottle. Now, if you, if you shake it up, what's going to happen to the oil in the water? It all mix just for a second because we know that oil and water do not mix together. It will eventually separate itself and then it'll go back. And I thought, oh, you know what? I like the way the vegetable oil looks. It almost reminds me of the sand. So first grade, have fun. Use whatever kind of bottle you can find at your house. This would probably be even better because then you don't have to waste so much oil. Have fun, be safe, stay healthy, and don't forget to wash your hands. Bye, first grade.